Well, hello there, friends. Now in this video, I'm going to be making a 3D collage. Now I got this idea from East of Honey. She is another YouTuber who posts a bunch of videos about all the different collages she makes. She also goes through the process of how she makes each one and her videos are just super awesome. So if you ever get the chance, go check her out. I'll put her information in the description area of this video, including the video for her 3D collage. Now let's get to it. Now I have these foam adhesive squares that I got at the craft store down the scrapbooking aisle. And this is what is going to give our 3D collage the dimension to make it 3D. So let's get to it. All right, now I have these vintage Life magazines, both from 1972. And I'm gonna flip through them to see if I can find a focal point. Okay, and I'm gonna start with this one here. July 21st, 1972, and look, it was 50, <laughs> 50 cents. And this is the first thing that we see. Check out this guy in his awesome suit, awesome mustache. Might want to use him in a collage one day. We Look at all this. Oh, that's a happy baby. That is a look from the 1970s for sure. Than any other $2,000 car. <laughs> Crazy. Huh. That's a cool old advertisement. Ooh, a photo mat. We don't see those nowadays. That's pretty cool. Now look at this. Ooh, how lovely. There really isn't like a ton in here. Nothing that's really like, yes, this is what I want to use, you know? Maybe not in this one. Maybe in another. I kind of like how they're kind of just walking up this way. That might be interesting. Give it some dimension like that. Huh? I don't know. Maybe I'll tear this page out because maybe I'll want to use that couple. So I'll tear this page out. Page eight, or perhaps I'll cut it out with my knife and then I'll save it, put it to the side, save it, see if I want to use it. And if not in this collage, maybe another. You never know. Come on. Here we go. Easy does it. These pages are so fragile. Ooh. There we go. I got it. Saving this, putting it off to the side. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Guess I'm saving that one too. Oh, these are kind of cool looking. Kind of like those. Huh. I have to come back to this one sometime. Check out the Coleman ad. Kind of like that. He's not in a good mood though. <laughs> He's like, Dad, why do we have to go camping? Sometimes my dog Tilly does this little pounce sort of deal. <laughs> I kind of like these. These are cool. Oh, that's really cute. And diamonds make a gift of love. This is kind of cool. Six generations without a gap. The oldest woman is a hundred and the youngest is ten months. Oh, and not very happy. <laughs> I love the look. The 70s look. Where's, where's her dog? Maybe she had too much gin for an afternoon walk. And that's it. You know you've reached the end. The back of a Life magazine with an advertisement for cigarettes. All right. We're on to the next one. This one is June 23rd, 1972. Also 50 cents. Ah, the server life. <laughs> now this one with the toothbrushes and all the toothpaste and stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, cool. I like that camera. Cameras are always cool to see. Oh, that's a cute photo. And Kellogg's with the cereal. That's that same one. Another Coleman ad. 
the girls. All girl teams tackle pro ball. Yeah, this is some interesting stuff. Look at this guy's hair. And he looks so serious. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, that's cool. Some really cool stuff. Oh, a little caterpillar. They're so cute. All right, well, I think that's the end of this one. Yeah. Now I know I have that other couple set to the side, but I wanna look through another Life magazine to see what else I can find. And this one is from September 27th, 1937, and it was 10 cents. I kinda of like this flower right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save this. Definitely gonna save that. Perhaps I can include that in this collage. Toothbrushes for 51 cents, Johnson & Johnson. Cool. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, I'm gonna save them. I want a couple or something. Very interesting. Now I think I've already been through this Life magazine in another one of my videos. So I think I might just keep looking and let you guys know what I find. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to go with this couple here. But now I'm going to go through this crazy stack of just random things that I've found through all these different life magazines and stuff. Things I wanted to save for future collages. So I'm going to find something in here to pair with this lovely couple. I also found this rose, if you recall. I thought this was pretty cool. This is a page about United Airlines and it talks about them completing 10 years of coast to coast flying. And this was from the 1937 Life magazine that I was just looking at. But I thought this plane, this one here at the top was pretty cool. So I might want to use that in this 3D collage. And perhaps this mountain range here as well. So we'll see, we'll see. We'll pair some stuff together, see what works best. But I'm gonna look through this crazy stack of stuff, see what we can find. But I got some random mushrooms and this pretty butterfly. So I don't know. We'll find something though. But this may be a sneak peek into some future collages. Yeah, so not really sure. I really like this Volkswagen, this hat here. I was just collecting a bunch of hats. You can see all these different hats that I was collecting from all these different magazines. And these aren't hats from all the magazines that I have, but it's from a majority of them. I've gotten some New Life magazines over the past few weeks, so yeah. And all these cameras. This guy, yes. So definitely gonna use him in something. Um, this 3D collage that I wanna make is gonna be a bit small, so I'm not gonna use him yet. <laughs> the sloth, so cute. Oh, there he goes again, but in color and with a girl. Forgot about this clown that I have. I love this clown. And this one, I definitely have something planned for that one. There's just so many different ideas that I have. Oh yeah, and this lady, this photo. I almost forgot about this guy. I wanted to find some soup to put him in, but I haven't found the perfect bowl of soup yet. But I'm sure with all the Campbell's soup ads that I have, that I could find one for sure. Just kind of want him sitting in it. Like coming out of the soup. Oh yes, I forgot about them too. Oh man. It's like I want to change my mind, but I also don't. Okay, maybe. I'm quite indecisive at the moment. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so that couple laying in the grass was cute. Look at this couple too. Uh... Okay, now I have three couples that I'm not quite sure which one I want to use. Oh, this one is gonna make for a cool collage, for sure. Just gotta figure out the rest of it. I liked her glasses. Those were cool. 
This car was cool. I just have a lot of random stuff. Man, now I gotta figure out which direction I wanna take with this. And use this couple here. So I'm gonna cut them out. Be very careful not to destroy too many things here. Yeah? You know what? I think I'm gonna use scissors except for these little details in here, which I'll use this knife for. You really gotta hold everything down so it doesn't mess it up so much here. Sometimes you just gotta turn the paper however it works. Yay. Very nice. Hey. <laughs> All right. And I think I'm just going to use uh, my scissors for the rest. And the lovely couple is all cut out. Now I just have to cut out the background and assemble it, which is going to be the most difficult part. Okay, now I definitely want this to be round. I was just trying to figure out what exactly I was going to use. A sort of a guideline, tracer sort of thing. And I think I found the perfect object. <laughs> so I'm going to use this plate here. And... Not a dog nose. I'm going to cut this out like so and use this as sort of a template and perhaps I will tape and glue on top of this to get my rounded shape. So we shall see. Hopefully I get this to turn out. I'm only going to do the bottom as a rounded shape just because I want just the bottom. I kind of want the top to be free. No oh, sort of background for the top portion of it, just for the bottom. Now it's not a perfect circle, but it'll do. And I want to figure out exactly where I want everything to kind of sit. So I think something like this with the mountains and then them, like, uh, let's see, maybe I want a different portion of the mountains in there. Something like this perhaps? Yeah, maybe something like that or we'll scoot this over just so we can get the rounded effect here. Yeah, and then... We'll have our lovely couple in here, probably like, like this, or up a little bit like this. Yeah, I think, I think that'll be nice. So the first thing I'm going to do is tape these mountains down toward the bottom, and then... Let's make sure it's all flat. Yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna flip it over and take our knife. And then we're gonna press down on the circle and cut where the circle is. So we get that round shape. Yeah, see? I'm gonna do the same to this one over here. Don't cut your fingers. Same idea. Oh, a little bit closer to the circle there. So I'm just going to cut the little bit that's hanging off there. And I think that'll be good. Yeah. So see how it's like rounded there? And you know what? I mean, that is, that is sort of a nice background, not going to lie. Maybe I'll flip it over and do... Man, I told myself I wasn't going to do a background, but I kind of like that. I guess we'll see at the end, see if I want to do the circle in the background or not. Oh, we're just going to randomly put a bunch of tape on here. Yeah. 
Oh, this tape. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna cut right here. And we're gonna go around. I'm gonna go around this circle here. Try to stay close to the circle if we can. Right, we're getting to the end here. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is use that. That there is my first layer, sort of a background. I'm just gonna cut out where the mountain is. And down here. It's hard to tell sometimes that these black and white images were exactly to make your cuts. But I think this is what I'll do here. Then what I think I'm going to do is cut along this mountain line here and make that another one of the layers. So I got these mountains that I'll put right here. And I wasn't thinking, but this tape kind of ruined it here on the side, but I can cover it with something else. And then I'll take this and put this down here. So maybe I gotta move those mountains just a little bit. Just to match. Well, I don't necessarily need to match it up. I can just do this and, you know, we're gonna layer it. And now I need to add a little bit more just to fill in the extra space here. I mean, we don't have too much space, but just a little bit here and there. So, 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 to make this a little more interesting, I shall introduce to you another book. This one here I got from Amazon. I want to see what kind of stuff we can find in here. And from that book, I found these two gargoyles, this crazy unicorn. This unicorn was super hard to cut out and I kind of messed up the horn. So we'll see if I can do something with that. But um, I think we're going to get to layering and seeing how this thing turns out. All right, and the fun begins. Now I think the first part I'm gonna start with is this here. And I think I have that going the right way, but let me just double check here just to make sure. Yep, all right. So I'm gonna get this one down first. Let me take my thumb squares. Now I think this is a ample number of foam squares. Make sure we're getting all lined up. All right, and I think that's good. If we end up having a little bit of excess, we can, I'm sure, cut it off. Now, just gotta figure out what layer I want to go next. Now I think the next layer, I'll do this mountain range here. Yeah? I have all these little squares, all these little papers and everything. Just gotta make sure we line it up again before we press everything down. Right there. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah. Okie doke. Now, I think I want to include this mountain range that goes here and then maybe we'll stack some squares to make it a bit taller going to this is basically where it was yeah, yeah i'm gonna put the couple in there next and all the squares on the back of them so <laughs> gotta be really careful and figure out where i want to put them now I know I want to put this mountain over here, so I just need to figure out like where to place them. And I want to overlap a bit here. Man, uh, the little squares weren't tiny enough to fit up here, but I think that's okay because their arms will kind of curl a bit and give it a little more dimension. So I think that's kind of cool, just like that. His head's kind of funny looking, but nah. It'll be okay. It'll be fun. But make sure you get plenty of these little foam squares, two or three packs, if you're going to do 
a collage about this size, just in case you have a bunch of little pieces that you want to add. Or you can just layer it better than I did and you don't need as many squares. But I think so far this is actually pretty cool. It's coming along pretty well, so I'm happy so far with how it looks. All right, now I noticed that I'm gonna end up having a gap right here in the middle of them, so I need to find something to go underneath. I don't wanna place the flower there. I'm also gonna need something to go right here. So, I need, a few, I need to find a few items, just some black and white items that can go in there. Um, maybe another flower, but we shall see. And I also have this book. It's a lot like the creature book but men. And this is one of the books that East of Honey uses. So I went and found that and I found this sheet. I needed something random to go in between here and I believe this guy had some like coal in his wheelbarrow and then I found this little barrel on the same page. So I'm gonna put that like right here and then the rose and the rest of it. Okie doke. And really this is just filler, but it works out. It's curved, and there we go, and I'll add another layer, so when I go to put some other stuff down. But yeah, the coal kind of looked like, you know, rocky, so it fit well. All right, we are nearing the end on this bad boy. Just need to add the finishing touches here. Our last three characters a million squares later and i believe we are done i love the way this one turned out um i know i said i wasn't gonna have a paper background behind the mountains that i was gonna cut along the mountains but i like the way this color looks with the black and white um there is a lot going on but i think it looks really cool and here at the bottom i feel like there might be something missing Although it does give the illusion that they're floating. So I may or may not add something there to the very bottom. Yeah, I like this one. It was it was time consuming, but I think it was worth it for sure. These little squares were kind of crazy though. Um, and I definitely need more because I'm stuck with all the tiny, tiny ones. And there's paper on top of each one that you have to peel off. So it takes a little while, but I think this one looks cool. So. Let me show you all the layers here. I think that's so cool. You can see all the little white squares and stuff, but this one just really, really turned out well. And that unicorn horn is still missing the final little bit, but I think I'm just gonna leave it off there. And originally the unicorn had a tail, but yeah, I think it looks fine. <laughs> it's so cool. So yeah, I hope you guys like this one. I sure did have a lot of fun making that collage. Like I said, I got the idea from East of Honey and she has a video of her 3D collage and all that she did to make it. I'll put that video in the description area of this video so you guys can go check it out. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it and I hope you come back for more. Bye.